delve into this conversation on good living good living segment we bring to you all conversations with regards to lifestyle that's a trend when it comes to traditional marriage have you seen the beautiful kente gowns that ladies wear lately well that's what we are going to be talking about today we have beautiful ones uh i've seen i've seen different different ones they are colorful ones some the colors are a little bit um on a, a lighter note i i think like they don't want to call it dull but it's like the shade has to match your skin tone then there's the beautiful beadworks now in the past it, it wasn't beadwork it was rather lace that they were using uh to complement the kente now it's not lace now it's beadwork <laughs> You should see them. Today we are bringing all of that to your doorstep. Yeah. So if you know anybody who is fashion cautious, anybody who is getting married soon, anybody who loves to embrace Kente, you need to call the person because you're streaming live on Facebook. And I'm having this conversation with Abigail Ofosu Ado. She is a creative director for Spicy Attar. Hi, darling. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You know, I told you I love what you're wearing, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, um, as the show goes on, I'll let you stand and give us a 360 for people to know or see the details <laughs> of your outfit. Thank you. But how have you been? Fine. It's been fine. Okay. It's so let fine. me first ask you how long you've been doing this? Approximately like five years. Five years. What got yeah. you into it? Okay, I think it started from my university days when I became the vice president of my hall. I was then fashion conscious of everything that I, I go out with I, because I had ladies looking after me as a vice president. So, Which university is this? UCC. Okay. University of Cape Coast and I was the vice president for Atlantic Hall. Oh, right. Yeah. So after my service, no work and I was still in a fashion, you know, I was very passionate about it. So I was like, okay, why not go, go to a fashion school? Okay, if for nothing at all, I can sew my own dresses without bothering or being disappointed by fashion designers. So that was what it started. I like, I like the fact that you said no job, but I got this. <laughs> and I, you know, when we had a conversation earlier, I said it pays, right? It does. It does. It does. It does. But yes. why bridal? You could have done a ready to wear, but you are more fixated on bridal outfits. Okay, personally, I love details. I love details, and when it comes to details, the ordinary person wouldn't want to spend so much on a normal dress. Mm. So, well, bridal, you can give all the details for a bride, and they are ready to pay. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's talk about this traditional wear yeah. okay and it's like the new it it's like kente is no more the regular kente that we knew where you just wear plain kente no. kente comes with some sort of beading you have had experience with bright tell me what bright have in mind anytime they meet you and what they are looking out for okay every bride wants to look spectacular on the day they want to shine brightest if not for their budgets, I'm sure they would want the most detailed gowns every time. So brides come, they want to look good. So we, being the technical people, they would want to know which colors would fit their body, which designs would be okay with their body type. So when they come to, for consults, we help them with all those things. So we look at your body, we look at your complexion, your figure. So if you're an R uh, figure, we, we want to define your waist for you okay. so that we see all the shape and the curves. If you are slim, you are slender, we make sure the patterns that we are sh using for you don't look vertical and don't make you look skinny. So it's advisable that every bride goes for consultation? Definitely. Because you know some of them actually Definitely. do have pictures of, uh, you know, others they've yeah, seen. Yeah, they, they have inspirations on their phone. Every bride has a catalog on the phone with so many styles. Sometimes the style you see that looks good on someone might not look good on you. Mm. And even the colors of Kente. So one thing of, with bias is one will come and be like, okay, my grandma gave me a Kente. Okay. The Kente color might not match your complexion, but because the grandma gave to her, okay, okay, what can we do? We can't let you go and buy a new Kente. We'll just work with that. But I would then treat our brides to make sure that before you even get your Kente, the first thing is consult your fashion designer. Okay. Let them help you with the colors. The colors have to contrast with your complexion. No two ways about that. So if you're not doing that, you just bring any color. When you're fair, you will need 
new tones okay that would just help your peachy undertones when you are dark you will not you need some colors that would brighten like the, you, like the blues and the yes. red okay they have we have universal colors so if you don't know what your color and you well you want to, you have universal colors like red mm. like purple like peach those are universal colors that matches with every color so if but if you are particular about what you want and you want to look brightest consult your fashion designer okay first. so that's one thing that you do as well yes now talking about the style you said you look at the person's uh, physique before yes. you actually you know tell the person the type of the particular type of style yeah. to go for yeah. now Looking at somebody like me, I'm very curvaceous, yeah. but maybe I've seen a ball gown and I still want to wear a ball gown. Will you advise somebody like me? Your personality also counts. So you are our client. Okay. And what you say final, some are insistent. Mm. I don't want, though I'm curvaceous, I don't want to show my body. Okay. We can't force you. Oh. We can't. We can just advise you, but we can't force uh styles on you okay you can just advise what i want us to do is i want to take a look at some of uh, the beautiful kente words mm -hmm. uh that beautifully made by spicy you yeah um let's see what let's see them can can we have our first model come out and uh, we see it and then you tell us a bit about it that look okay that's nice I'm loving the green and the gold. This is beautiful, I must yeah. say. This is beautiful. Okay. So, um, tell us a bit about this look. Okay. So, this look actually is a two-in-one gown for a bride who wants to look, you know, you'll come and you wow them. So, the first part, the, this part is just the two-in-one. When you take out... You want to go? I, yeah, yeah, please go. Go ahead. So... When you take off this one. Okay. And when I talked about colors, yeah. you'd see she's dark. Mm -hmm. And we use the emerald green for her to just. Oh. Yeah. There's a dress on itself. Okay. With the details, everything, just to help it. And we have this. So it's a two in one gown. You take this. As a dress, so the bride can come in with this initially, then after go and change and come in like. So which this. bride can wear this? Okay. For this, because she's curvy, where if you're dark, you can wear. If you're fair, you can wear because okay. the green also goes with so many complexions. And a curvy bride can wear this. All right. But a pear shape with a top being bastia. Cannot. I wouldn't advise you okay. to wear this. And this also comes on a budget, which means you don't need two outfits for your event. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I, I love it. Thank it's you. beautiful. Yeah. It was carefully made with details so you can turn mm. your head straight. Okay. 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 It comes in like a gown. So it goes like that. Okay. All right. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay. So our first model can leave now. Okay. So you can come back to your seat. All right. So the first model can leave. But I, I love your dress. I Thank don't know if, if we can look at her dress as yeah. well. Uh, can a bride wear this? Or this is not for a bride? A bride can wear this as a second dress. Or a mother of the bride. Yeah, or sister of the bride. Or sister of the bride yes. as well. Or Lovely. a wedding guest. Would you take somebody shine as a wedding guest? Mm, no, dear, they take the shine. All the time. All the time. You have to be so very as a bride, you have to be careful. Right. If you, if you, if you are calm, some people are calm. They don't want to be so if you don't take care they would just mistakenly take you as a guest that's so true yes that's very very someone true. who appear at your your event and you'll be a guest you that's yourself you'll say the first day like oh i'm like yo you shouldn't have so, anyway can our second model come in all right so oh this is beautiful i think you should come and stand by us yeah i'm loving this yes Ah, this is not my size. <laughs> Why is this not my size? This is so beautiful. Yeah. Tell us a bit about this look. Yeah. So looking at her color, she's not that fair. She's she's not that dark. Green also goes well with her. Right. And she has that body. Mm -hmm. So we want to define real the waist. Mm -hmm. And because she has some, you know, this neckline they used to call it rollins chain rollins chain but now it's in fashion it's a, oh yes. yes we want to really make her appear elegant mm -hmm. the word was elegant so as a bride we did for this for her so that's but a corset top that's 
All of them are facets. Okay. Now most of them, you know, uh, now Ghanaian ladies, I don't know whether they're late night eaters or <laughs> all of us are having <laughs> protruding <laughs> belly. So most brides now, I would, I don't remember anyone coming in mm. without a, as a now. Okay. Most of them are classes. Is it not just a trend or is it? It's is also a trend. Party? Okay. It's also a trend, but once once in a blue moon will someone come okay i don't like us mm. we can't force you mm. we just advise that you come in nice to really define your waist for you okay and the details mm -hmm. we are very particular about our uh, details mm -hmm. we make sure that we make you stand out i can tell can you please uh turn for the camera mm -hmm. okay okay that's nice yeah i really really love this this yeah. is beautiful this is also a gown mm-hmm mm -hmm. So it goes like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is for the simple bride or this bride this should be like elegant, elegant bride. bride. Okay. So it's not just any bride and that will definitely wear this because no. you might be uncomfortable if you are not very elegant. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, you look beautiful. Yes. Okay. So you can, you can exit and then we'll have our third model come in. Oh, mm -hmm. look at that! Yeah. Look at that! Come, come close to us, cause I'm actually loving what you're wearing. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hey, now how do brides walk? Because you don't have to go for a special catwalk. <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely. Yeah. Tell us a bit about the color shade. Why you chose this color for her? Okay, so I told you that when you are fair, you need notes and things that will just tone down your color. And this one bride who is very fair, so we chose this peachy light tones for her skin mm -hmm. type. We, this really was because of how her skin is. We okay. wanted her to tone down so that she doesn't appear as a ghost mm. all in our eyes. Yes, that's it. And she has a curvious figure, so we define her waist for her. So turn around for them to see how beautiful oh, and the details wow. this one we, we had the beading at the down and the top part was a lace an applique lace with more beading and the sleeves okay yes okay now looking at this mm -hmm. um i'm just wondering what if the person doesn't want beads at all can we still sew and she'll still be the current bride because it looks like every kente that we are seeing now has to have beadwork definitely we advise beads because you know our traditional setting most people come in kente if you are you're really particular about mm -hmm. engagement settings most people come in kente so what makes you stand out mm. if you're also in kente and it's not beaded and it's not extra so mm. you need to be you need to be extra as a bride extra but so if you don't want the beading it's no it's not like we have to force it on you no we don't do it. Do you have to consider the kind of guests you've you've actually invited Invi when it's, you are it's choosing important. it? So if you're having a private ceremony, you can choose not to have beads in your dress. Probably it's just some few people around. You don't you need not to impress anyone. But if you have like five hundred guests, three hundred, even hundred, hmm. you have to impress. Wow! Because you you should know that when they go home, they will say it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They will say, like, it. social media, we may criticize you say, dress hey, well. did you see her dress? Mm, yeah. It wasn't good at all. Mm -hmm, they will mm -hmm, say it. Mm -hmm. So you have to appear as such, just to redeem your face. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, very soon, we'll invite all the other models to join. Yeah. But for now, we have this one. And the skin tone plus uh, the fabric is actually matching. And so mm -hmm. this is not advisable for a dark skin person, right? Yeah, but peach also goes with dark skin. Okay. It's not so loud. Except for neons, neons colors that are so loud that see, when you're wearing it, should be particular about your skin color. Like a fair person can go in neons, that lime green, or very high mm. tone of orange and lime greens when you're fair. Please don't be in those. I would advise you don't choose those colors. But peach will go with a darker skin too, but it fits perfectly well on a fair skin. I'm loving the peach on her skin, mm, yeah. I must say. But another thing is that you have to always think about wearing a gown. Can't you just wear a simple dress? You can. You can even be in pencil. And in pencil. So if you see the second model from her front, you see that it's a pencil dress. Right. When she turned, then you see that's the gown. Right. You can just be in a pencil dress. 
the most important thing with right now is the details. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what about pencil, but um, what do you call it? You call it mid, is it mid, mid length? Midi. 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 The midi. Yes. Can a bride wear a midi dress? Yeah. Is it advisable? Uh, for a second dress or for a private ceremony. Okay. Yeah. Not for um, a ceremony for with 500? No, extravagance. No, no, no. no okay. No. All right. But now I see more nude, um, you know, lining in the corsets. Is mm -hmm. it like showing of skin or there's actually a lining that makes uh, you mm. not see the skin? Yeah. It's, it's actually called illusion. Mm. We are making you imagine like you're seeing her skin, but that's not her skin. So it's creating the illusion of you saying, okay, I can see something, but that's not her skin. So it's, I think it's not also the trend. We have brides that use skin color nets for the top. Okay. Some people don't yeah, want to expose. Yeah. yeah. So those are all of them are illusions just to create that there's nothing there, but there's something. Um, okay, so uh, very soon we'll have to bring in the others so that mm -hmm. everybody will see how yeah. well it is. Yeah. It's all about the bead work. That mm -hmm. is the latest yes. trend. Um, but uh, talking about that, what about budgets? The first, when it comes to consultation, is budgets. Because you can have the most detailed yeah. style mm -hmm. as a designer for a client. You can see, okay, oh, you look so beautiful. This will just fit you. But if he if she can't afford it. Exactly. Yeah. So the first thing you have to consider is the budget. When the budget comes in, then you would just haul around it and just create something around it for her. Every bride is important. Is so. the corset comfortable? The corset said outfit. Uh, truthfully, it's not comfortable. When the, but when the bride gets into the <laughs> arena, <laughs> it seems comfortable for I, I have brides who would come and fit. Okay. Oh, this is too uncomfortable. All right. How so my, the, the other, other, other mm -hmm. models are joining. Yeah. So How everybody will I see. Said? How will I said, I said, okay, I'll follow them to the event. How they said, I would, I will not even be <laughs> So when it comes, so as for the comfort, comfort, comfortability, I wouldn't lie. I, yeah. I, I don't want to say it's, it's very comfortable, but we try as much as possible to make it comfortable for okay. you. Okay. But you should know that every corset, even the regular corsets that we buy on market, is not, not comfortable. comfortable. Yes. yes. So, so do you prep them to let them know before you make it for them? Definitely. When sometimes they come you know when you see, it, you see people where you're like, oh, this is so nice, and then you wear it, oh, I can breathe. Most brides are always, they're already aware. Okay. So they, when they come, the first question is, I heard it's very uncomfortable. I said, okay, when you come for fitness, so you know, small spell when they come, when they fit it, the, the day day, you don't even realize how uncomfortable mm. you felt. You'll be so excited and it just outshines the uncomfortable. Let's talk about the you. traditional look for a pregnant bride. Will you still go for a corset for a pregnant bride? Yeah, they do corset, but we, we try as much as possible to bring in some other things to cover up. Okay. We have pregnant brides, so mm. most times this, this one okay. can go for a pregnant bride that would have a peplon okay. or something just okay. to make sure you don't define your waist. Okay. The waist, you, you just define your waist if you have the, that R glass. But when you're pregnant, sometimes you have a protruding body, mm. a stomach or something. So we try as much to bring a peplon or something okay, to, cover, to cover up. But you can still wear the corset. Okay. Because this has been a big debate. In, it in, is. In, 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 let, me, let me bring this in. Sure. I, I think when I, I designed something for Fela Makafi. Okay when she was getting married. And at that point, it was the start of the corset. I was like, okay, because she's pregnant, I don't want to do a corset. But later, I was like, no, I should have done the corset for her because she could have worn it. Mm. So the corset, it doesn't, if you don't wear it for the whole day. Okay, so you just can a wear few it. minutes. Yeah, you okay. can, unless you have medical Condition. conditions. All right. Then I would Thank advise. you so much for being here today. Thank you too we for are having very me. grateful. If somebody wants to contact you, your number, please. Uh, okay, you can contact us on 054 100 7478. And our social media handle is Spicy Atta on IG. And Spicy Atta on Facebook, everywhere Spicy Atta. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You your work is beautiful. Me. This Thank is you. lovely. Thank you. So if you want to have your traditional outfit done, why not? Just contact her. Her name is Abigail Ofosua Ado. She yeah. is the creative director for Spicy Atta. Uh, this is this is really, really lovely, Thank I must you. say. And um, I'm just I'm just looking at it and I'm just like
Oh, wow. <laughs> How long ca will it take for you to make an outfit like this? Because sometimes, you know, one thing that happens is when you go to, um, you know, a designer, the designer will tell you, I've closed booking, mm. or I can't make it within this short period. How long does it take to make an outfit like okay. this? Okay, making the outfit itself will take like one to two weeks, the outfit itself. Okay. But we have clients who have booked us in advance for their dates. Uh -huh. So we advise that you at least three months, depending on the particular uh, designer, you book ahead of time. So that we'll know how to plan out. Because you can't just call me within a week. If someone had booked me like three months, I would not just say, okay, because of the money, no. We want to also have time enough to be on each bride. So we'll not look at the money and it will be uncomfortable for some other people. So book ahead of time just to make sure you're secure. So if there's one particular design, like you want to sew a spicy attire, we are booked for the year. Eh? So if you are saying, okay, I want to sew, okay, my... my you're booked my, for the year. You're booked for the year. Well, if a bride is watching right now, yes. you're booked for the year. Booked. So just book ahead of time. Oh, but sometimes you go ahead too and you're married too. Sometimes uh, it doesn't come <laughs> At least it's with a designer. At okay. least we I have brides who come in. Okay, there's the change of plans. We were doing it. Okay, fine. But I still have, you, you've made payment. Okay. So you're still in my calendar. But if you've not called me at all and you call me like within a month or something, I will definitely turn you down. The business, the business is good. I have to come and learn how to oh, sew. Oh, yeah. So young ladies can just, if you are passionate, I, I always advise the fashion business is so big. Mm -hmm. We have so many. We have the bridal. We have the regular dresses. We have kids. I would advise young ladies to really take this up because I wouldn't lie to you. Mm. It's booming. It is booming. And it's just like a hospital. Definitely you definitely get a client. People always get in marriage. Yeah. yeah. It's not even about marriage for regular dresses. When okay. you are selecting your outfit, your traditional outfit, do you have to consider your hairstyle as well? Yes. You can have the... I remember I had this beautiful bride with a beautiful... And her hairstyle was... was also, off. I was like, oh God, you've just damaged... <laughs> And you have people commenting, okay, the dress is nice, but what hairstyle is this? Uh, so the hairstyle is also very, most brides go with bouncy hairs. You know, bouncy hairs and fro curls are always good, like good on us. It matches your... As much as, so braids, I wouldn't advise braids, but... But you know braid is becoming the new issue as it well. Is, it is too. You can also be different. Yeah. You and can especially also be if, you, if you have natural hair yeah. or short but hair. But if you are doing braids, it means your dress should be detailed to complement yeah, it yeah. so that we don't really put our eyes on your hair. Okay. okay. So some people actually bead from top to bottom. I have clients beading from top to the, at the back too. Okay. Is it dependent on your budget or? Budget. Or, or Everything is budget. Okay. So let me ask you again. You said it takes about two weeks to do this, but mm -hmm. most of them are hand work, right? Yeah. So uh, we take the two weeks to sew uh -huh. with the construction and everything with the patterns. Then we take another two. So when we are done with the first, you come for fitting before we, we start the beading. Okay. When we are done with the dress itself, you come fit. Okay, this we have to do this. We have to do that. We change it. So when we are done with the fitting, then we do the final beading. The beading takes most of the time. Okay. So somebody was asking. You know, after I asked you about the pregnant thing, the person was asking, does a corset hide the pregnancy? It does. Some of the wives want to hide the pregnancy or brides. Oh, it does. It does. It does hide it. Does. it. it, does it won't hide it affect it. the baby? Oh, no. 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 That's why if you have special conditions, I wouldn't advise. But if you are strong, most Ghanaian women are very strong. Do you have to tie it tight or? No. Because you're pregnant, yes, you have to make we'll it loose. it a bit. Okay. But the peplon, it will help you to hide mm -hmm. it. I think the peplon does uh, work most. Okay. So because you can... when you corset it, mm -hmm. when you corset it, your belly will push down. It will come just under your belly button. So when you bring the peplon to cover it, then it solves the problem for you. I think this is for every bride out there. Let's talk about a bride who probably is in her 40s or 50s. Will you still, you know, recommend these trendy outfits for such a bride? Or with somebody like that, the person has to go with a little bit of an olden style. Okay, so we'll bring the olden style and modernize it for you. So most brides in their late wouldn't want to expose yeah. their body. Yes. Yeah. So we try to 
give you things that has sleeves, but it will be in a modern form. It will not be like the normal covering sleeves that you have, the waist, then you have a cut and join. No. Mm. We just incorporate things into it for you to make you look good. So what about, you know, um, for, again, we are going back to the elder, a little bit, yeah, you know, older yeah. ones. Um, you know, I've seen the trend of the one hand, the off shoulders. Can, can you recommend that for them as well? Okay. It depends on their personality. Okay. Some, some, some people are old, but, you know, they are wild. So if you want to, well, okay, I don't, I don't mind. Then why not? We'll just do it for you. But if most of them, I have, I've had older brides, like people who are old and they were brides. I think most, the, and people who are also like, okay, I'm a church. Yeah. Also for mommy, yeah. Those kind of things, yes. We also help you. They, they don't want to expose you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, I want something that would have hands. Yes, we can incorporate it into We didn't have time. We'd have brought all of them. Right. Yeah. What about uh, the very busty ones? Do you have to always, you know, cover or you can give them a bit of cleavage? Because I've, I've had a few people say, I'm too busty, so I don't know the style to go yeah, for. Yeah, busty people. And ch m most of my clients will come, okay, I don't want to expose my breast. But others wanted. I had I had one busty client who got traded, I think a time ago. When she was fit, and I was like, okay, push in your breast to this. I said, no, I want it to come out. I have it. I have to flaunt it. Oh wow! <laughs> I, I can't say okay, cover it. No, it's not me. It's her. So it depends on your personality. Okay. Oh, so some some of them are just you mm, know confident I, I, like yeah, that. Yeah, I have it. If she wants to cover it. up, do you have to do the illusion for her? Yeah, we we'll do illusion. If you look at this, this ones. Right. She didn't, we, we, this, this one, this one is a little. Okay. Okay, she came for first and it wasn't too, um, I don't want, okay, so why don't we add this to it? Okay. And it's just the, the magic. Oh. Okay. That's why you come for first and so when you come, you just do everything that you want. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that's nice. So the fitting, so how many times you have to fit? Okay, at least twice. But if you don't have time, the mo so when you come, if you, you just want one fitting, you come, you make sure we are done with everything before you leave. So that if you just left it, so you, at least you've seen the final work. When you come, it will just be the beating that we are doing. But minimum of? One. One. Okay. At least try and fit. Okay. Do you have to fit with the hairstyle? Not necessary, but when you come mostly, I will ask you, who is your makeup artist? Okay. Who, what hairstyle are you doing? So I, some clients will definitely ask you, okay, you think this will fit my hairstyle? Do you think they do ask and we advise them? Right, yeah. right, right. I'm just wondering, you know, I have had an experience of going for a fitting. Everything was fine. I did fit in like three times. Mm -hmm. I said that the dress came. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually struggling, and I'm like, did I put on weight overnight? <laughs> Does it happen sometimes? Yeah, some people have some kind of fit body. I have a client who called me. I was like, okay, I can change within a month. Yeah, I'll look for, but oh, it's in I'm special like that as well. cases. I'm like that as well. Yeah, actually, then I, think I can change with. <laughs> then it wasn't with a designer <laughs> because hardly would you fit a dress and see that everything is okay, then just the beading will change. No, 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 no. I, th I then think then someone last week, it happened to me. I got my dress, everything was <laughs> fine. The day of the, I think the next day, actually, 24 hours later, I was squeezing into the bed. Oh. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> but hey, that's, that's true. It happens yeah. with a lot of people. But thank you so much for thank being here. Too. We are very, thank very you. grateful, thank Abigail. You. Thank you. Your, your work pieces are lovely. Your number mm. once again, um, for those who are now getting it. Yes, our number is 054 one zero zero seven four seven eight contact us all right I'll be in time in time yes please she's booked for the year <laughs> but you can still contact her yes. abigail fosua ado yeah. is the creative director for spicy Atta. so yeah. get in touch with her if you're getting married or even if you are going for any occasion and you want to look very beautiful just reach out to her and she'll make something lovely for you. Thank you for watching the show today. Uh, we are super, super grateful. I have been doing this with the very odd KMJ. My name is Rosalind Feli and a very big thank you to our production crew. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>